guys welcome back to another episode of C programming tutorial in today's episode we are going to learn about what you mean by arrays in C program an array is a collection of similar elements suppose there is a situation in a program in which you have to save the marks of 100 students so there are two options are available the first option is to you have to declare 100 variables and save that 100 marks and the second option is to you have to declare an array of 100 size and save all the 100 marks into that particular array so the second option is better because if the number of variables in a program increasing the complexity of that particular program is increasing so the second option is available so array is a very useful feature of a C program okay so here in this program I will show you how to working with arrays in a C program how to declare an array how to save the values into an array and finally how to retrieve the data back from an array okay suppose here I want to save five edges five age and I want to display that five age so that is our target so here in this program uh, before that uh, we can define an array as a collection of similar elements similar elements means similar data type that means if an array of type integer it is only possible to save integer values in that array it is not possible to save any float value or any character value into an integer array so we can define an array an array is a collection of similar data type so here in this program uh, we want to save age of five persons and we want to display that age so here it is an integer array of size 5 this is an array declaration here x is an array of in array of size 5 and data type is int the number in the square bracket indicates the size of the array so 5 means the array is the array index is started from 0 and 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so the first two values save in x of 0 second value save in x of 1 third value x of 2 and the fifth value saved in x of 6 okay so now I ask the user to enter some age and there are five ages so user enter five numbers so after enter the first number he enter he press the enter key so we have to save the first number so for saving the number into an array you need a loop so here we have to save five values so i equal to zero so here we have to save five values so put the condition like this i less than five there is no need to i less than or equal to five because i less than five means the value of an the index of array is count from 0 so 0 to 4 is 5 so this is enough this condition is enough and I plus plus so for saving the value we can use the scanner function so every value is an integer so use the control sword percentage D and here first value is saved into x of 0 second value is saved into x of 1 and the fifth value is saved in x of 4 ok so for saving every value x of 5 is needed so for the first uh, when the user enter the first value the value of i is 0 so it will save that value into x of 5 that means the 0th position in the array and when user enter the second value it will save into x of 1 that means the first position in the array and when the user enter the fifth age 
it will save into x of 4 that means fourth index of that particular array okay so now we have to retrieve the data from that array so print off n dot h n dot are following so for retrieve the data from an array again you need a loop so I use the same loop here so the same thing so to print an array instead of the scan of you can use So here we can use printf function printf h equal to percentage d and it is x of i. Okay, here you need to in insert the address operator. Okay, so we can save the program and now compile. Compile the program. Okay, you need to declare variable i before using before using it okay and again compile the program okay now it's fine there is no error we can run it so enter 5h i put the first h 45 second h 23 third h 34 fourth h 45 not 45 42 and the fifth h is 34 Okay, each entered are following. First one is H45, second one is H23, 34, 42, and the last age is 34. I forget to add a new line character. Okay, so now we got the statements in separate lines. Okay, I hope you enjoy this video. This is just an introduction to arrays. We will discuss arrays in detail how to uh, declare array how to initialize array in detail on the coming up part of this tutorial thank you for watching see you in the next part